Um, let's get you updated on this breaking news that we're following this morning out of Monroe. Take a look at your screen. Tragedy there when a bowling alley goes up in flames and continues to burn at this hour. It certainly does. The only good news here is that no one was injured. The building was closed, but it is a total loss. Nick Monticelli is joining us now live, and you're certainly devastating for the, the bowling alley owners and, of course, the community that enjoys that place. Well, and even more so because this bowling alley opened in 1961 and has been so popular. They have expanded multiple times throughout the year, and this is how it's going to end for them, or at least this is the next chapter in their story anyway. So you can see right behind me here just how massive this building is and how bad the situation has become because of the fire spreading throughout this entire bowling alley. Now take a look at this video. The fire chief of the city of Monroe says that there is a very good chance this fire started in the kitchen. They don't know what started it. They just know that it started in the kitchen. They also, as you mentioned, nobody was inside, no employees, no customers, uh, so nobody was hurt at all. Now, as I mentioned, this bowling alley has been around since 1961. They are just shy of 70 lanes, so this bowling alley is massive. Just looking at it, it's about half a block long, and uh, the fire chief says that almost all of it has burned. So that kind of tells you how dif how difficult this has been, and also difficult because of the way the fire has spread. When you've got a building that has been renovated multiple times, there are a lot of different codes and building codes uh, each year. So it's it's kind of interesting to see how some areas can get burned and others can't. But again. The fire chief says that this is just so devastating it's an entire loss. And again, not just for the building, not just for the management owners here, but for everybody in this area. And it's a, it's, it's a sad, sad time for the city of Monroe. It's, it's, a, it's a great building and, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to hurt for a little while. So back out here live, Mike is actually going to show you how big this building is as we sweep from one side all the way to the other. That's how large this bowling alley is, and it's really uh, hard to imagine how fire can take over and destroy the entire thing. But that is what's happened here. And one more thing I do want to point out, Everod and Rhonda, uh, talking about the size of this building. And I know that, Mike, this might be tough, but I want to show you there are actually four aerial trucks. I, I saw two earlier. Now I see four. There's one here on the right side that we can pan to the left. There's another on the back side, or that's going to be the uh, the uh, east side of the building, the west side of the building, and then two more closer to us. It is taking four aerial trucks and four different fire departments to help get this fire under control. Imagine the manpower. Imagine all the water they're using just to get this fire out. That is, that is a, a massive building and a major effort to put that yeah, fire it out. It certainly is. It's just so sad that it's a, yeah. a complete yeah. loss for that community and those owners. All right, Nick, thank you.